Hello guys and welcome to the post-match video of the Liverpool and Middlesbrough game. Fantastic win, Daniel Son. What a fantastic win. What a fantastic win. win. And it gives a lot for Klopp to think about with Mick being a little cat. Mick in the <laughs> The LFC cast. In association with LFConline.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Okay, so we're going to go through some match stats first. Uh, I'm glad to be saying these stats because we won. Usually I hate going through the stats when it's a draw or a loss. It's like, uh, possession 80, <laughs> but we lost. Uh, shots 20, but we but we won. Could you just get on with them, please, Dan? Yeah. Okay, so possession. We had 64% possession. They had 36% possession. That was telling, and you could see that Definitely. on the actual screen. 15 shots to us, 8 shots to them, shots on target, we had 4, scored 3 of them, very clinical, and they had 3 shots, didn't score any, because Mig's a legend, I've never doubted him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, corners, we had 2, they had 5, and that, when, when they had 5 corners against us, you'd think one of them's going to go in, but it didn't, because Carius wasn't on the pitch. And fouls, 14 to Liverpool, 11 to Middlesbrough. I don't know why I just jumped at the camera then, Dan. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, in 3D. We were good though, weren't we, Dan? You know, I thought we were dangerous. The front three or four were absolutely fantastic. Yeah. You know, the first half it was difficult because they had so many men behind the ball, which yeah. a lot of teams do against us. But to be fair to Middlesbrough, I thought they were all right. You know, they were still pushing forward, whereas a lot of teams just stayed behind the ball. Yeah, I, th I agree completely. I think what happened there is, like the last game, it didn't end the same as the last game, but like the last game, Lallana scored early. Yeah. So it had to invite them on yeah. to attack because they couldn't just hold back anymore. You could see straight away that the game they wanted to play was just on the counter from us and they had everyone behind the ball and if we didn't score early then it would have been a horrible, horrible it would game. Have been difficult, wouldn't difficult it? Difficult game. Luckily Lalana gets a goal and all of a sudden they don't know what to do, the game plan's oh. changed. He's fantastic Lalana, isn't he? You know, the thing he was lacking a few seasons ago was the goals and yeah. they're coming thick and fast now. He scored a couple since he's been back. Yeah, I think that's about five goals now for Liverpool. He's become an immense for us. Very, yeah. very clinical, Greg. I mean, he's added that to his game, which is fantastic. I don't think it is five goals for Luana. I think it's five goals for Origi, actually. Origi said it right, guys. I have been practising. <laughs> I went to lessons and everything. I was going, yes, teacher, Origi. And you're going, Origi. I was going, oh, Origi. And you're going, Origi. Okay, Dan, so we calm down now. Yes. Good stuff. Okay, so we'll start talking about our keeper first, Mignolet. How do you think Mignolet did? Mignolet, I was going to say, was fantastic, but yeah. he wasn't fantastic. He was just good because he didn't need to do much because we played fantastic yeah, overall. That's true. However, I did think what he did was great. You yeah. know, he's come back into the squad. Carius has had a bad few games, and Mignolet took took control, you know, he's got got a hold of the ball, he made a good couple of vital saves, yeah. and across his corners and all that, he was catching the ball and coming out for it. Definitely fantastic, and it's good to see him not trying to punch every ball when he doesn't yeah. need to, as you say, he's grabbing hold of he's it. Grabbing hold of it yeah. And also that guy, I can't remember who it was, but Middlesbrough came down the wing, looked like yeah. he put the cross in, blasted yeah. at his near post. Got and down. Got there, yeah, which is fantastic. That's all you can ask, and I think now that gives Klopp a lot to think about, because you can't put Carriers back in if Mignolet's having a game like that. Yeah, exactly. I think at some point Carrius will come back in because Klopp likes him a lot, but I agree with you, you know, maybe he needs a few games out, yeah. Carrius, definitely. I think he was under the limelight a bit, Carrius, and I think that there was a lot of pressure on him. Yeah. So Klopp kind of thought, I've got an excuse here because it's a midweek game to take him out, but I think really he was thinking, if I keep playing him and he keeps making mistakes, then it's going to make him worse as a player. Yeah. I think, get him out now, let me in your leg do the job for a bit, bring him back in a couple of games time. Definitely, it's the right decision, you know. So, the defence, how do you think they did, you know? Yeah. Clavin came in there, because Matip obviously got injured the other day. Yeah, really disappointed about Matip, because I, I was oh. thinking Lovren was going to go out, because yeah. Lovren was the one who had the injury, wasn't he? He had hamstrings slightly pulled. Uh, but he was back in, that was great. Matip out with an ankle injury, I hope it's not very, and I hope it's not serious. Yeah. Um, but I thought we did well, defensively. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Clavin did a good job. Um, Lovren did a good job. Milner was fantastic up and down that pitch. The yeah. energy from him was great. And Klein, as usual, great cross for the goal. What do you think? Yeah, brilliant cross for the goal. You know, fantastic. I thought the centre backs, you know, uh, Lovren and Clavin, I thought they were fantastic because when the full backs maybe 
didn't quite do what they were supposed to do yeah. or quite close down the players quick enough. They yeah. were there straight away yeah. like that. They were fantastic. So happy with the defence. Very happy, especially there was one part of the game where that Traore for Middlesbrough, he ran down the wing. Milner slid in, didn't get there, but Clavin was there. Straight in, Stopped yeah. them. Brilliant. And they had a few fast, big, strong players, didn't yeah, they? Yeah. So, you know, they had to be strong in defence. Traore looks great, doesn't he? He does. I yeah. wouldn't mind taking him for 50 mil. Jimmy Tri Traore, eh? Jimmy Traore. Okay, so moving on to midfield, you know, Lallana, Henson, Wijnaldum, how yeah. do you think they did in midfield, Dan? I thought they all did really well. I think the key person in that three was Lallana. Fantastic, was isn't he? Everywhere, Greg, he was up and down the pitch, his passing was brilliant and his goals were fantastic. I mean, yeah. his composure for the goals, the header for the first one was brilliant. Yeah. And the, the, the third goal, which was Lallana's, when it come across, I've seen a lot of players blue in that type of yeah. goal, but he just boom, so slotted it in. Was just, yeah, it was quite near to the post, you know, yeah. players can always put them wide, as you say, but he just so composed. Definitely, and Henderson is doing a great job just being that deep player sitting. He, he kind of orchestrates the team, doesn't he, a little yeah. bit. Uh, and when Yaldum's good, but he's not great, he's not terrible, I don't know what to make of him. He had an alright yeah. game. Yeah, I thought he did alright, no, to be fair, you know, he was getting stuck in, he made some important tackles, but you just don't see any of those special moments like yeah. you do with the other players. But he was good. You know, and Henderson, as you say, playing so much deeper than he used to do maybe a couple of seasons ago, and he Fits into that role so well. Does, definitely. It does. Okay, so moving on to the front three, we've got Firmino, Mane, and then Aridi up top. Yeah. That's the thing they did. I thought they played really well, Greg. They all complement each other in different ways. I think that Origi is now on five get goals, five games, which is just fantastic, great. isn't it? You, you know? can't ask for more. No. He's stepped up to the plate yeah. and you know he doesn't do loads of things in the game, but he does what's needed. Yeah. I remember where, I think it was Ian Rush who said that you know he used to play terrible in games, but as long as he scored in the game, yeah. that was his job done. Definitely, you're a striker. You're there to score goals. It doesn't matter what else you do. Yeah. What do you think about Marnie? I thought he was fantastic, Dan. You know, I thought he was absolutely brilliant. Maybe he should have scored a few goals tonight. Yeah. He didn't take his chances, but the chances he made and the speed oh. and the just the trouble he called defence was yeah. magnificent. I completely agree. He was just running them ragged. Definitely. And he didn't know what to do with them. And I think it goes back to the first goal and getting an early goal. I think when... You know, Lallana scored, it gave Mane more opportunity to start making these runs into space because at first, they were so far back. Yeah. He kind of struggles, doesn't he, a little bit? Yeah. But uh, he was great. Uh, he was who else was there? Firmino. Firmino. What do you think of him? Yeah, I thought he was good. You know, he didn't stand out as much as he sometimes does, but I thought he was great. You know, yeah. he... He twist turns, you know, through balls, you yeah. know, he did really well, I thought. He did pretty good, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I get a bit worried because I go, oh, what's happened with Firmino? He's not doing much. But I think it's what he does off the ball a lot. You yeah. know, he does a lot of running. He creates space for other players quite a lot. And he's very um, unselfish. You know what yeah. I mean? He could have had a lot of chances tonight, but he decides to chip it in or pass it to Origi and things like that. But I thought he played well together. I thought Fantastic. Yeah. It was hard to decide who didn't play well. I think yeah. everyone played brilliantly. Definitely. Okay then, so going off what you just said, who would be your man of the match? My man of the match would be Carius. I think he played excellently on the bench. I thought he watched the game fantastically. His vision was brilliant and his hair was bloody gorgeous. <laughs> oh, you have to ruin it every time, don't you, Dan? <laughs> Okay, so thanks for that, Dan. That was really important, really serious note. Thank you very much for that. So my man of the match was Mane. I thought it was brilliant. And I know he didn't score, and I know Lallana got two, and Edi scored. But for me, he was just so dangerous, and he created a lot of the goals from just the things he did in the build-up. Wow, that's a great shout, that. Really good shout. Mine was Lallana. Maybe it was an easy choice because of the goals he scored, but I think he'd he done a lot more than that. You know, his finishing was great, his, his passing was great, the assist he made for Origi's goal was fantastic, that sideways cut and pass. Lallana was my man of the match. Yeah, every player in the team was fantastic, you know, which is great to see, and hopefully we've got that winning mentality again, and we're going to carry on another winning streak now going forward into the new year. Well, that would be fantastic, and I honestly Greg think that you know I'm not I would love to win the lead title and that is the dream isn't it yeah. but if we finished in the top four second or third I would be so so happy definitely well we've said so many times let's try and be in the top four at Christmas yeah. at the moment we're second you know yeah. Christmas only a week and a half away yeah so and next week's game's going to be easy isn't it Easy peasy. Who are we playing that mid table team oh, uh, I don't know who are they called Blue, Blue Toffee Brigade 
Uh, yeah, I think it's got bitter in there as well somewhere. Bitter, blue, sure. Merseyside yeah. side derby brigade. Yeah, AK, that's it. That's the one, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Easy then, 4 0. We've not jinxed it, have we, there, Dan? I hope not. I mean, Lukaku's looking pretty good at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it'd be an easy win. Nah, easy win. Easy win. Not bothered about them. Oh, for you right there, Dan? <laughs> Okay, guys, so thanks very much for listening. You know, let us know your predictions for next week's game and also let us know your man of the match in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. to the LFC cast. Subscribe and thumbs, thumbs up. up. That's what Greg was doing there. Speak to you soon. Just rub me nose, that wasn't professional. So it's where we ending then? Well, where we ending? I was going to go on to a, a, a discussion about points about clubs. You know, the way he changed it in the second half. It was fantastic. We made some long balls, which completely changed the game in the second half. I was going to add that, yeah, but unfortunately, you ended the video. But we could put, do it now. We just throw it in. We've just done it, Craig. See you later, guys. Bye bye.